Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math on Ampere algebra problem and here we have uh, m minus 5 whole power 4 equals to 3 to the power of 4 and now we find all the fourth roots of m. So here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we move uh, this 3 to the power of 4 in the left hand side and it is written as in this form m minus 5 and its whole power 4 minus here you have 3 to the power of 4 and it is minus 3 to the power of 4 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, you see here uh, these both equations are power 4 so now we break this exponent 4 and we write this in this form m minus 5 whole square and its whole power 2 here we break this exponent 4 and we write this in this form and similarly we break this exponent 4 and we write it as 3 square and its whole square and it is equals to 0 and now in the next step here we need the nice square identities and you know about this identity if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we need this formula uh, to solve the bow equation so now we apply this formula and the output of the bow equation is written as in this form this is a minus b so here our a is m minus 5 whole square minus our b is 3 square and again over a plus 1 so here over a is m minus 5 square and plus 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step here we convert this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take m minus 5 square minus 3 square equals to 0 and we call this is our equation number 1 and similarly we equate this equation equals to 0 and we call this is our case number 2 and it is m minus 5 square plus 3 square equals to 0 and this is our equation number 2 and now in the next step here we need to solve these two equations in order to find the values of m so here first we focus on equation number 1 so that from equation number 1 uh, here we uh, again use uh, this nice square identity on this equation and it is written as in this form m minus 5 and minus 3 into because our first factor is a minus b into a plus b so here our a is m minus 5 plus 3 equals to 0 so here we need a little bit simplifications and here we uh, open this bracket and we write it as m minus 5 minus 3 and here we have m minus 5 plus 3 equals to 0. So now we subtract these two values and you get m minus 8 and here you get m minus 2 equals to 0. So now we equate both of these equations equals to 0. So we have m minus 8 equals to 0 and m minus 2 equals to 0. So here we find the first real root of the given equation is m1 equals to 8. And here you get the second real solution m2 equals to 2. Because here we find all the roots of m. So because our m is of order 4. It means that we have four roots of the given equation so here first we find two roots from equation number one and now we find other two roots from equation number two and now we focus on equation number two so here we copy down our equation number two so equation number two is implies that uh, m minus five whole square plus three square equals to zero so now here first we write this equation into the standard form of quadratic equation so that we expand this formula and it is written as m square plus 5 square minus 2 times of m into 5 and this 3 square equals to 9 and this all equals to 0. So here we need more simplification and we get m square plus 5 square is 25 and 2 times of 5 here minus 10m plus 9 equals to 0. 
and now we write this into the standard form so we add 25 plus 9 and we get m square minus 10m and 25 plus 9 equals to plus 34 and this whole equals to 0. So now this equation will become uh, in standard quadratic equation. Uh, so now we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation. So uh, here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 10 and c equals to 34. And we know about the quadratic formula. It is stated as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So now we substitute uh, the values of a, b and c in this formula and this implies that uh, m equals to minus b and the value of b is minus 10 plus minus square root of b square. So b is minus 10 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 34 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1. And uh, now in the next step here we need more simplifications and we have this is minus times of minus becomes plus 10 plus minus square root of minus 10 square equals 200 and here 4 times of 34 is equals to 136 and it is divided by 2. So here we subtract uh, this 100 by uh, 136 and it is equals to 10 plus minus minus 36 square root and it is divided by 2. So here uh, we just write our answer into the simplified form. So now we need more simplification here and uh, we break this uh, uh, square root sign and it is written as 10 plus minus square root of 36 into square root of minus 1 and now we break this fraction as well it is divided by 2 here and divided by 2 here so now we uh, uh, here uh, we need to simplify the terms and we have 2 plus minus we know that the square root of 36 equals to 6 and the square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So now here we cancel this term. So you see here these two fives are 10 and two threes are 6. So finally we have the other two complex roots are m equals to 5 plus minus 3 iota. Okay. Uh, so uh, finally we have our fourth root of the given equation r. So our first root which we find above is m1 equals to 8 and m2 equals to 3. And our third root is m3 equals to 5 plus 3 iota and the fourth root is m4 equals to 5 minus 3 iota. So these are the total four roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.